There is a berry in this country many people do not know about. These berries are found on mulberry trees. Mulberries have more nutrients and antioxidants than blueberry. There are many mulberry trees in a local park. Let's go get some berries. Mulberries are a superfood. They are rich in vitamin C, antioxidants, and calcium. Mulberry trees are native to China. In China, they are used for silk production. In my town, there are probably thousands or more mulberry trees. Tons of mulberries each year are wasted because people do not eat them. These berries were introduced in the U.S. in the 1600s. In the state of Virginia, there was a law for the resident males to plant four mulberry trees in order to promote the silk industry in the state. Here it is, the mulberry tree. This one is loaded with the mulberries. trees also produce this great tasting berry. In many countries, this berry is sold in the grocery stores. Mulberry has more antioxidants than the blueberries. In US, these berries are mostly ignored and the berries just fall to the ground and waste it. For centuries, human beings, we have been exploiting the life cycle of a silkworm or the silk moth. And this life cycle gave us silk. The silk was produced by using this life cycle. When it comes to the life cycle of the silkworm, it starts with this moth, a white looking moth, a very small moth. And this moth is the one that lays eggs on the mulberry leaves. It lays eggs on the mulberry leaves and the larva comes out. The larva in this case is called a called a caterpillar and this caterpillar is very small after this caterpillar feeds on the mulberry leaves it becomes really large so this picture if you look at this there is a large caterpillar and this large caterpillar is the one in captivity what they do is they take the buckets metal buckets and inside the metal buckets they fill them up with the with the mulberry leaves and they add caterpillars to them and those caterpillars after they feed on those mulberry leaves they become larger after they become larger, what these caterpillars they do is they start spinning the cocoon. When they start spinning the cocoon, uh, this cocoon is made up of silk fibers. That's where the silk is in this case. And uh, the larva or the caterpillar changes into a pupa. So when you look at this picture right here, there is a pupa inside this cocoon and uh, the pupa will stay there for 10, 15 days or so. Then the pupa is gonna change into the moth, it's gonna hatch. When it's gonna hatch, it's gonna break up the cocoon, it's gonna come out, and the moth is gonna come out as an adult. And the life cycle will continue like this. But the industry actually exploits this life cycle by gathering all those cocoons and they boil them in water, so they kill the pupae. pupae. After they kill the pupae, they will take all those pupae and remove the silk from them. Remove a fiber, put it on a reel, and that reel will uh, reel all the fibers, the silk fibers, and they separate them, then they can make clothes from them and all the silk products that they produce. And that's the general idea behind the silkworm life cycle. I got some of these berries from the trees. See what happened to my hands. They're really colored. Uh, there is so much anthocyanins, anthocyanins inside these berries and these anthocyanins are really good for the human body. They clean up the blood vessels and they scrape the blood vessels and they keep you healthy.
They taste sweeter than the blueberries. It's a very healthy, rich taste, the berry taste. I think they even taste better than blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. Good tasting berries. Let's take these berries home and look at their cells under the microscope. The mulberry skin cells are very strongly built and they're boxy and they're very strongly knit with each other, closely attached to each other. Mulberry pulp cells, they have the highest amounts of color I've seen in any berry. There is a lot more coloration. The cells are kind of oval. The cell walls are not really thick and uh, they show a lot more coloration or bleeding of the color. That was not very common in other berries. Eat mulberries. Get the benefit from the superfood. Please do not let them be wasted.